Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here, and today we got another free agent signing in the NHL by the Carolina Hurricanes. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for more NHL and soccer from the European side and MLB. As, like I said, free agent signing for the Carolina Hurricanes as the Hurricanes signed forward Paul Stastny to a one-year $1.5 million contract. Stastny will be turning 37 here in December, so he's on the older side, but this is an excellent pickup for the Carolina Hurricanes. Gets a veteran guy that can help with the team on the third line that can still produce goals in the NHL. As you look at his last season with the Winnipeg here, 21 goals, 24 assists. He was plus 14 with 45 points in 71 games. He's known to put the points up. This is an excellent signing by the Carolina Hurricanes as this provides depth for the third line even more than what they have now at, with their high potent offense where... Stastny on a third line. If Stastny can be on the third line and score 20 goals, watch out. Carolina's going to be lethal. And he can play on the penalty kill. He can play on the power play as well. He spent most of his career in Colorado, St. Louis. He played a couple stints in Winnipeg and, of course, Vegas when they had to let him go there. But Vegas, like, you look at what Winnipeg did is he only had eight power play points on the power play this year for Winnipeg. So he got 37 of his points, five on five, because he had no shorthanded points. So this is a huge signing for the Carolina Hurricanes where you're getting a guy that can play five on five for less than $2 million that can put up easily 20 goals a season or 30 points a season as he isn't the same guy from Colorado where he put up 50s and 70s and whatnot. He is older but he can still give you that 30 to 45 point range per season. I'm sorry but if he's putting up 30 45 points that means the team scoring 30 45 to 45 more goals a year. And he's really good defensively. He can take those key face-offs as well as last year he was 56.57 in the face-off draw. He's a career 53.7. Last season he also had 14.9 shooting percentage. So he scored 21 goals on 141 shots. That is insane. He doesn't shoot much. He's more of a facilitator. But... Having this type of guy on your third line with, you know, Jarvis probably making the team this year. It's a steal of a deal for the Carolina Hurricanes who, you know, just traded for Pacioretty. Now he's going on LTIR for, I can't remember how long it is. I just woke up. But you replace him with a guy that, you know, won't put up as many points but helps your third line and you got down the middle you got some solid centers now who there you go you look at the Pittsburgh Penguins back in the day winning Stanley Cups well they had Malkin Crosby and Jordan Stahl down the middle you look at a lot of these teams that win Stanley Cups it all starts with down the middle that center position and that is what the Carolina Hurricanes are doing they have already got more than enough skill this is just to help solidify that third line for them in this upcoming season because with all the moves Tampa Bay and Florida have done and you know what Tampa Bay does at the deadline you you know for a fact that Carolina is pushing to beat those guys as you know Personally, I think Florida and Tampa Bay have gotten worse this year. And that's not to take anything away. 
but Carolina probably noticed that and said hey we're all in this year this is our year let's go do it let's go run for the cup again bring it back since 06 when they beat the Edmonton Oilers and so on and so forth so I'm just kind of blabbing here now but this is an excellent signing by the Carolina Hurricanes and it solidifies their third line but anyway let me know of the signing in the comments as I'm just waking up here and I'll get back to another video here soon hopefully you guys have a good day I'll catch you on the next one